talk about high resolution versus low res resolution images uh, with regards to anything you might do, whether you're doing presentations for your teacher, you're doing videos for me, whatever you might be doing, uh, we always have to go with high res images. Okay, so a couple of things here. So when you're in Google and you're searching for something, so in this case we're just searching for a hamster, I'm going to go here in Google and I'm going to change my tools so that it only shows me large sized images, images of high quality or high resolution images. Okay, the problem is that some students go and they take this little thumbnail, these are all just called thumbnails down here, and they take this and they download this image here, okay? Well, all you've downloaded is a little tiny thumbnail, okay? You've not actually downloaded the high resolution image of it yet. To do that, you need to click on it, then wait. You see how there's little progress bars down here? There's a, okay, now it's downloaded the high resolution version, and now if I do the two finger tap, and save this image to download. Now I've got the high resolution. Do you see the difference there? The first one I just took just the thumbnail. The second one I took the actual image. Okay, so let's compare what they look like. Okay, so if I go to the thumbnail, this is what it is. This is what I took. That's as big as it is. It, not, it, it doesn't look bad small, but the problem is we're gonna blow this up and use this in a presentation or use it in a video and it's gonna be blown up to 1080. So it's gonna be blown up about that big or maybe that big there. Do you see how bad that is? Okay, that's the problem. Okay, you cannot, <clears throat> excuse me, you cannot take thumbnails and think that you're going to blow them up because they look like garbage. You know, they look low resolution. That's what low resolution is all about, is that you see all the little pixely dots there, and it's just horrible. Now let's take a look at the same image, but the high resolution version of it is right here. Look at how clear the eyes are, all the little uh, whiskers coming off. They're nice and clear. This is the low res version of it and this is the high-res version. So let's just review again how I got those two versions, okay? <clears throat> the first time I just went and downloaded, just did this and downloaded the thumbnail, which is no good, it's just a tiny image. The second time I actually clicked on the thumbnail and then I downloaded the high-resolution image from the side panel here. And sometimes you have to wait for them to load, sometimes they're not actually very big, like that one's not very big. But this one here, nice and big, you can kind of see the quality. And always just take a look at it, take a look at it with the preview and if it looks nice and clear, then you know you can use it in a presentation or a video or what have you, okay? But just say no to low resolutions. They are not accepted in my class, and they're not accepted by many teachers. So only high-res images will do. All right, good luck, guys. Have fun.